Hi there and welcome to Degs Adventures. Today we are fitting the um, handguard wind deflector, the Perspex ones to match these. And uh, this is on the BMW F850 GS Adventure. Now these uh, fit the, uh, a variety of the uh, BMW bike handguards, the modern ones, the later ones. Uh, all you do is I'm going to show you you uh, undo your bar end, which is a 50 Torx. I'll just uh, get that here. The 50 Torx, uh, focus in. There you go. You need one of them. And you need the uh, 25. Uh, focus in, focus in. There we go. The 25 Torx for that one there. So easy to do. You, uh, I've loosened this one. So, I'll just crack that one off. So, as you can see, you can do this one here and do this one handed. <laughs> Make a right bloomer, right? She's out, rest that there, pull the gummies out, watch the bar end because that's heavy and it'll drop. You don't want it dropping on your paint. In fact, I'll uh, just put a cloth here. Just put a cloth in here, just protect the uh, paintwork. So I don't want to... That's the uh, cloth done, the next one. I'll just push the handlebar around that way a bit. We need to crack the little one off. Just crack that off and then I'll be able to... Uh, Sorry about that, I can cut that. Right, I've uh, undone the bar end over there, I've put my cloth down, and now I'm just uh, taking the little one off. This is that little one I'm on about. What you do is you don't use the, uh, the uh, original BMW screws, they give you a washer and a longer spacer because you can actually see the size of that that's the original one and there's a new replacement one and this is the uh packing still so this will go there behind the original land guard i'll show you how it all goes in a minute thank you right my hand guard let's get down on the old deck <laughs> Anything drops, it ain't gonna break then, is it? <laughs> right, all this does is just click into here. That clicks into there like that. That clicks into there like that. You bring it around back to the handlebars and put that there. Like so. I know it ain't gonna stay there. So what I'll have to do is uh, put that in there. Drop the big bolt into the uh, original. Let's put the hand guard on underneath. So you build that back up how it is was originally. I'll just do a few uh, turns on that just to hold it in place. And uh, there's the hole there, and that's how it fits like that. Exactly the same as that. So I'll get back to you in a second after I've just screwed this one up and tighten the and, uh, the bar end part up. Right, we're all done now. That one's secure and the bar end side's all secure. So that's the left one coming over to the right one. Straighten the wheel. There we go. And that's what it looks like. And that's what it looks like from the front. Wind protector, wind protector wind protector and wind protector that one that one is the original uh, fitting that come with the bike these bikes do have them fitted or i don't know there might be an extra <laughs> you know bmw but this is um here very good matching it's all genuine bmw stuff and there we go i'll try and get on the bike so i got her on the center stand here we go so Looking at it, I'll take that cloth away. Just chuck that there. Right, looking at it from my point of view, that's what I'm seeing, is that. Take the notice of all the, <laughs> the shed and workshop stuff. But that's what she's like. 
ever so nice. Oh, well, yeah. Uh, another thing that uh, is a modern uh, adaption, the BMW uh, sat nav mount cradle, that was here, the original one. I fitted it back on and connected it back up. I've still got my uh, Tom Tom one. The reason why is this here, you pull that down, your phone slides in there, locks in, you've got the key, and uh, over here, you have two USBs, extras, yeah, USB, just normal USB, so, which charge your phone, so that's one, two, where their original ding was, because you know I put the extra USB on there from Nippy Normans, that one there, and that one there, so we've got the sat nav. The reason why I wanted the phone one, because you can download the uh, OS maps, audience survey maps, and find some proper lanes, you know what I mean? I know Tom Tom's good and the Garmin's are good for that, but you can't beat the off uh, audience survey. Perfect, so it's not in me weight. I can bring that tilt that up, you see, as you can see. I can tilt that up and it's not only way in my dash from where I'm sitting now. That's level with me head, the phone, so I've got a perfect clear view. So that's the uh, update on the uh, BMW F850 GS Adventure. Absolutely brilliant. I'll just uh, come off the bike and give you a quick look around of her. There we go. Oh, these are uh, old uh, handlebar mugs. I use them to be, uh, for my engine covers when I go down the entry because it, it scratch on the wall otherwise. Yeah, perfect crisp clear uh, brake fluid off from the service. As you can see, absolutely crisp clear. Got a bit of a fly squat there. I'll have to clean that off. I've missed that. <laughs> but anyway, that's the bike. So I'll try and get a by the back shot there you go that's there the Angard extend that in perspex same as that one you've got that one there the original bmw that one there and then the taller screen so as you can see it looks a bit of a beast <laughs> anyway thank you for watching please share and like out this video's helped you a little bit if you get stuck with fitting these but they are really easy and I think it adds a bit of character to the bike with the front of the uh, original ones. I see them there. That's the original. The new ones. Original and the new ones. So, there you go. Thank you for watching. Again, Degs Adventures UK. Bye for now. Bye.